Well, Roe versus Wade has been officially overturned. On the feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, give glory and praise and honor to him. Obviously, much more work needs to be done, but this is something that we should rejoice in. A couple of things I'd want to say. First, how many rosaries have been prayed for the overturning of Roe versus Wade? Millions. What are we going to do to give thanks to Mary Immaculate? I suggest we build a church, a $20 million church in thanksgiving to the Most Holy Theotokos. That's the first thing. So let's make that happen. I'll, I'll, I'll make it my life's work. Let's do it. Secondly, get ready for the child sacrifices to attack the Catholic churches. We have messed with their most cherished sacrament. They will mess with ours. Let us pray that the Lord would grant us martyrs in the American church. We should pray for the poor souls who will commit sacrilege, who will desecrate Catholic churches. We should pray the Holy Rosary today for them. But we should also be open to receiving persecution and give praise and thanksgiving for it. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Let's also pray for the women who have killed their children, who have sacrificed their children. I'm convinced that child sacrifice is what this is, and it is as demonic as it sounds. And they are being offered in a demonic fashion. So I think the demonic hatred is going to be palpable and loud and illogical over the next few days. What do we combat it with? We combat it with logic and love and peaceful hearts. We give praise and thanksgiving to Almighty God. We honor Mary Immaculate. We love our families. And we tell our families about this horrific law where people in the United States are sacrificing their children and that we pray for them and we love them. If you're a woman who has sacrificed your child, I love you, you're beautiful. I really do love you. If you were here, I'd hug you. Maybe that'd be weird if you say, I don't want you to hug me. I don't care, I'm gonna hug you anyway. <laughs> you're beautiful, you're a beautiful daughter of God. No one is beyond redemption. All of us have committed grave sins. You know, we'll say sometimes things like, everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, but sins are, aren't mistakes. Right? Sins imply the will. It's not something you slip into, it's something you commit. And I've committed grave evils. When I was dating my girlfriend who I was fornicating with back when I was about 17 or 18, I'm ashamed to say that I said to her, you'll get an abortion, won't you, if you get pregnant? God have mercy on me, a sinner. It's not us versus them, it's just us. Like we're all broken products of the sexual revolution culture. But this is absolutely, in another way, the city of God versus the city of man. The final battle between Christ and Antichrist. Between the powers and principalities that Christ has made a mockery of on the cross. There is no way to overstate the grave evil of child sacrifice. That's what this is. That's what this is. So, if you're a woman who's had an abortion, repent. Receive the mercy of God and move on. You're beautiful. And your voice can be so powerful. You know, you can do so much good. The Lord loves you so much. The Blessed Mother loves you so much. You can do so much good. If you're a man who's encouraged your wife or girlfriend to have an abortion, like I encouraged mine, and she, she never got pregnant, by the way. She never had an abortion. Praise God for that. You also need to repent because you've fallen at your post. If you encouraged your girlfriend to have an abortion, you are a weak, cowardly scoundrel. Me too. You need to repent from the depths of your heart and realize that Christ has paid the debt. And so you need to repent and then not beat yourself up. That's what Satan wants. And after you've repented, join the battle. Join, join uh, the church militant. 
as we continue to save souls. This is Christ's work. Any good that's done is because of his grace. Without the grace of God, this YouTube channel is nothing but an Australian trying to be articulate and say some intelligent things, and that doesn't save anybody. If anyone's being saved through this YouTube channel or your YouTube channel or whatever ministries out there, it's all because of the grace of God. It's all because of the prayers that have been offered up uh, for the evangelization, the re-evangelization of this now pagan country. So rejoice, rejoice. Take your children out for ice cream. I think it's important to tell them about this, this historic day. This is just beautiful. And again, on the sacred heart of Jesus. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. If you're watching today and you haven't given your life over to Jesus Christ, I encourage you to do that. Pray now, Lord Jesus, I give you my heart, I give you my life, I give you my mind, convert me. Mary Immaculate, lead me into a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ so that I can be a soldier for Christ. That I can fight the demons, that I can fight against my own sin, my own selfishness, that I can build up the kingdom of God and tear down strongholds. I'm ready. Tell him you're ready. We gotta just be full on. We gotta be all in. I'm, I'm ready to be all in. What does all in mean? It means I need to stop being selfish. I need to be a better husband. I need to be a better father. All of this will be given to me by the grace of God, the grace I'm receiving through the sacraments. You too. This is beautiful. You happy? You doing well? <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Mary Immaculate, we love you. Again, expect persecutions from the purple-haired feminists. Expect it. And love them. Just love them so much. Pray for them. Pray your rosaries for them. <sighs> Blessed Mother, Mary Immaculate, I give all these people to you who are watching right now. I give you all the women who have sacrificed their children. I give you all of the doctors who have sacrificed children. I give you... Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden who would praise child sacrifice and have praised it and all those who will praise it today. I give you all those that will desecrate Catholic churches who will steal the blessed sacrament. I give you all of them. I give you the director of Planned Parenthood. Mary Immaculate, pray for us. You destroy all heresies. You have destroyed all heresies. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs>